This is Liquid Lord at Chef Tango with Teacap Recipes. And today, Lord is bringing a little bit of Disneyland to Cordenville. All right, Lord, what are we going to be making today? What we're going to be doing today is making up a vegan dish. And thanks to the help of my vegan coach, we're going to be making a vegan Dole Whip. The, there's no, I've never tasted anything as good as... All right, Lord, what's the first ingredient? Pineapple, I had my pineapple frozen, so I'm gonna have to cut it up a little bit. We're going to begin by adding two cups of that frozen pineapple to your food processor. That's thing one. Milk is, is cashew milk, it's unsweetened. All right, I'll pour the butter in there. Actually, Gruber. We're going to add a quarter cup of unsweetened coconut milk. That's thing two. I take just a little bit of sugar, like that much. I don't know if you can see it, that much. Next, we're going to add one tablespoon of generic white sugar. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a common thing now. And now there's only one thing left to do. Put it on the ground. And while the ninja is doing its thing, I would like to thank my generous patrons, everyone on Streamlabs, and finally, viewers like you. And I would also like to thank you for getting me to 908 subs. You guys are legendary. Comes the messy part. Because whenever I pour this, it always winds up rolling down it. You don't pour Dole Whip, you groomer. You put it inside a pipey bag, and then you serve it in a little dish. There's only one thing missing, though. Put the ham cubes in there. No, not ham cubes. Pineapple juice. I'll show you. I forgot to get ham cubes. We pour pineapple juice into a glass of your choice, and then we add some Dole Whip. Now this looks refreshing, but would you like to know what else is refreshing? Jerks off his tail! No, it no. off! Ouch, another blow to Lord. And more Dole Whip for me. This has been Liquid Lord and Chef Tango with Teacap Recipes. If you like what you saw today, please consider subscribing. Also, feel free to check out the videos above. That left one looks real good. Double cheeseburgers with no pickles. But the one on the right looks really good too. Yeah, there's a pepper steak and it fixed a little bit different way. Bye, sweethearts.